What's going on guys? Different uh, tutorial today, just a quick one. Uh, I've been watching the new Loki show, and it's it's okay. It's nothing mind-blowing, but what I did like about it is the visual effect, the beginning, all that text changing, and I just want to show you a quick way to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to open my effects library. Let's go down to effects. I'll just drag and drop a new fusion comp on there. My timeline's huge, that's why this uh, looks so small. I'm just gonna click on the empty space, hit backspace, delete that. With your fusion clip highlighted, just go ahead and hit the fusion tab. And then we're gonna need just a couple of things. It's not super complex. We're gonna need a text node, obviously. I can just grab it from this toolbar here. I can grab a text, I'm gonna grab a background. Those are gonna be merged, obviously. I need to switch those, so I'm gonna hit Control T. I want my text on top. And that's gonna be good enough for now. I'm gonna head, go ahead and put that in. Uh, in my media pool, I'm just going to drag down this reference clip. I'm going to pull it up to my viewer so I can see. Going through here, I can see the text changes about every 10 frames. So we're going to go off of that. Uh, but my clip is a little bit short. It's on, I'm doing a 30 frames per second timeline, which works pretty well for this. But it's a little short, so I'm going to go back to my edit tab. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to change the clip duration. And I'm just going to click 15 seconds. That'd work. Go back to my Fusion tab. We're just going to add in the text. I'm going to do one letter. And then I'm going to keyframe the font because we want changing fonts. And then I'm going to go to frame 10. I'm going to keyframe that. I'm going to go frame 20. I'm going to keyframe that. And you can do as many as you want. I'm not sure how many changes they have in the intro, but you can pick as many you want. I'm just going to do 10 for an example. I'm going to just go through those real quick. Okay, now that that's done, we're just going to choose our fonts. So we have first font selected, I'm going to go frame 10, and I'm just going to, you can choose whatever fonts you want, I'm just going to kind of choose them at random. You can go ahead and change the font, and then you can just click this little arrow here by your keyframe to go to the next one. Change the font. Keep doing that. Might even throw in a symbol or two, see if you can see that. That just makes it a little more interesting. Now I have a bunch of fonts. It's gonna keep going through it, rotating. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy and paste instances of this. So hit Control C, hit Control Shift V, and copy well as many instances as you need. In this case, we just need three instances. And we're also going to add in a time speed. Uh, control space, put in a time speed. We're gonna need three copies of those. And then we can just go ahead and hook them in. So instance is just going to basically be an exact copy. When you change one thing, you'll change another. Uh, the one thing we're going to need to change is go to layout and we're going to de-instance the position so we can space these out because they're just over top of each other right now. De-instance that one. De-instance that one. And de-instance the last one. Now we can go ahead and space these out. So go to layout. I'm going to put 0 0.25, 35, maybe like 55, and we'll go 65 actually. Make that four. Next up, we're going to need to put in our text. So go ahead and go to text, de instance that. Now the other thing we need to change is the font. We don't want the fonts all to be the same. We want different fonts. So that's where the time speed comes in. Go ahead and click on the time speed. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in a delay. I'm gonna put in negative 10 frames for this. The reason I'm going negative and not positive is if I go positive, it'll delay the text. So you'll just start out with L and then O will pop in, then K will pop in, then I will pop in. So if I go negative, basically I'm starting out frame zero. The only problem is when you come to the end of it, then you'll start seeing them disappear toward the end of the clip. But that's okay, because we're gonna add some stuff there at the end. So go ahead and put negative 10, put negative 20, and negative 30. Now if we go through this, we have lots of different texts going at the same time. That's working pretty well. Now what we need to do, we need to add in kind of a glow. Go ahead and add in a soft glow. Just go ahead and drag and drop that. If you hold shift, you can just drop it right on. We can go ahead and 
give it a brighter glow and put up the gain so it blurs a little bit. This is actually a little bit grainy, so we're going to add in a grain as well. Just give it that grainy look on the footage. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. So now we got a little bit of grain on there. That's looking pretty nice. Background, if we wanted to match it, it's got a little bit of a blue hue to it, so you could always go over to your black. Maybe choose a blue. Do a dark blue. That's really bright. Woo. Background can be whatever color you need it to be. So we've got the look going, we've got the time speed going. Now there's just one other thing we need to do, and that's make it repeat. We only did 10 of them on the timeline, so we need this to repeat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the spline. I'm going to make sure I grab all the text. I don't need anything else, just the text nodes. I'm going to go ahead and make that fit to screen. Just grab them all and then go down to this one that says loop, set loop. And now if we look at it, we can be anywhere on this timeline and it's just going to keep running through those same 10. The other thing we need to do is we need to, toward the end of this clip, it changes to a single font and it just holds it. So an easy way to do that is go back to your edit and you can see that these uh, are disappearing because of that delay. Let's go right before that. And I'm going to just make a cut. So control backslash, I'm going to put a cut there. I'm going to change this fusion clip to a new compound clip. On this new compound clip, I'm going to do a clip speed and I'm going to go to freeze frame. So now when I get to the end of this, it'll hold. Now since I cut that clip and adjusted, it, it's missing. So I'm just going to bring this up over on this timeline here just stretch it out as much as I need to. And now when it's scrubbing through, it'll get to the text and I might just go through it and find the next switch point. Just move that clip right there. So now it'll be a smooth transition. And I'll just go to that text and I'll just hold as long as I need it to. And that's pretty much all you have to do for that text. It's kind of an interesting effect if you want to have an intro for that. And that's all I got. We'll see you next time. Bye.